All right, so in today's video, I figured I'd go through five of the reasons why I personally love being a software engineer. And the idea with this video is that hopefully if you're thinking about becoming one or you're thinking about getting into programming, software development, whatever it may be, maybe this can help you kind of decide or understand whether this is something that you actually want to be doing. And the first thing that I personally love is the creativity part. And this is one of the main things that I think people sort of have a misconception about. I think a lot of people think about programming as fairly boring and fairly mo monotonous, I think that you say, where you basically, you imagine it as someone that just sitting at the desktop with their computer, basically just writing code, doing math, or doing just like super boring stuff. But to me, programming is actually really creative. And I would pretty much compare it to like building with Legos or as like a painter painting a painting because you're essentially just trying to solve different problems and you're trying to come up with solutions to, to those problems. And the whole process actually feels really creative for me. And it feels like I'm kind of building something and I'm like coming up with solutions to different things and I'm actually creating something, which is something that I think a lot of people don't really see when it comes to it. I think a lot of people look at it as, like I said, a really boring thing where you do the same thing over and over again or like, you're just typing out ones and zeros. I think some people have that belief as well. But the reality is really that you just, like you come up with different things and you try to actually come up with features for an app, for instance, or you try to design the layout of an app that's more front-end development, but still it's something that a lot of it is just super creative. And that's something that I found super surprising about it. I thought it wouldn't be like that at all. But once I got into it, I realized that it's just basically like painting or like being an artist in a sort of way. And by learning how to code, you actually become really like empowered in that way that you can create pretty much whatever you want. Like if you know a little bit of back-end development, a little bit of front-end development, and a little bit of all the stuff in between, then you can basically create anything that you want, which is super empowering. And again, it kind of ties back into that creative aspect of it. It makes me feel a lot more creative because I can just like come up with different ideas. Like you see on this channel, I just come up with different ideas for things I want to try. And I'm basically able to do it. And it's just like, it feels like there's no limit to what I could potentially do with programming, which is really exciting. And it's also like that creative aspect of programming that allows me to make these videos that I'm making and like allows me to do this stuff for a living now so anyway that's the first reason why i love being a software engineer or programmer developer whatever you want to call it that's the creative part or the creativity and i think that it's super important as well i think that is one of those things that you or a lot of people should really be looking for in their job because it's the creativity of the job that kind of allows you to feel that you have some sort of independence within the job because the more creativity there is, the more you actually have a choice when it comes to how you want to go about the tasks that you get ass assigned, uh, which I think is super important just to maintain motivation towards the job and to kind of maintain the excitement about it as well. And the second reason is the freedom that it allows. And this is something that I think is super important when it comes to choosing a job in general, especially for me at least, because I always want to look for something where I can have the most amount of freedom possible I want to try to find a job where I can decide when I work and like where I work as well, ideally. And with software engineering and programming, it's a lot more easy to do that because of the fact that the work that you do is done via a computer. And so that means that you really don't need to be in a specific spot at a specific office at a specific time because you can just be working from your laptop from home. And usually the companies, at least the companies that I've worked for, they haven't really cared if I came into work or if I just stayed home working. As long as I got done some of the things that they wanted me to get done for that day or for the week, they were kind of happy. And that's something that I think is the main opportunity for me when it comes to programming is the fact that you can just have this amazing freedom with it. And it's also freedom when it comes to like choosing what you actually do for a living because it is actually sort of easier to choose what part of programming you actually want to be doing, whether you want to be doing front end, back end, uh, UI design, UX like design or whatever it may be. You can just kind of, there's so many areas that you can go into 
And that's something that makes it really exciting for me because it means that I can start out somewhere and then I can move into something else and I can kind of go back and forth between these different things. And I'm not super limited to the specific thing that I choose at the moment or a specific language that I like right now. I can actually work with multiple different languages and a lot of companies actually offer and prefer to have developers that know a couple different languages, especially if you're working as a consultant for a company, because generally for them, it's gonna be easier to find jobs for you if you know a lot more stuff, because then there'll be a lot more places where they can basically send you out to, which essentially really encourages that you learn a lot more things. And I just really like the aspect of learning new things when it comes to programming as well. So for that reason, it kind of really suits me very well. And the second thing is that remote work is often very embraced as well by the companies. A lot of companies don't really mind if you work somewhere else, which means that you don't need to even be in the same city as the company that you're working for. You can actually work for a company overseas or you can go somewhere else and work for a company in your hometown. Or you can basically travel to a different country and you can live like, for me, I live in Sweden, so the idea of basically being able to travel to some like tropical location and work from there is really exciting and really like tempting for me. So that's something that I always want to make sure that I have that as an opportunity, at least even if I don't want to actually do that at the moment, I still want to have that as an option so that I know that the company won't really mind if I go somewhere else for a month or two months or however long. And that's something that's really positive about programming in general. It's usually very open to remote work. And there's actually a lot of more opportunities here to increase this freedom even more, which is by like joining these remote communities of developers like X-Team, for instance. And X-Team actually very kindly agreed to sponsor this video, which is awesome. And like I said, X-Team is a community of remote developers and they help companies scale their development teams. So when you join X-Team as a developer, you gain access to job offers working on long-term projects for companies like Riot Games, Fox, Coinbase, and you also get $2,500 a year to use towards activities and gear that help you stay organized and always growing. So they are genuinely a really cool company and they offer a great way for you to get started working as a remote developer, which is just awesome. So I highly recommend checking them out at the link in the video description. All right, and the third reason why I love doing this is something that should be pretty obvious, but it wasn't to me when I started and that's actually the salary because in general, at least where I live, being a programmer, software developer, software engineer is a really well-paying, high-paying job, which means that you can basically just study it for a little bit. You don't even need to study it for that long and get a job. And then you can get a pretty high paying job straight out of the gate. To me, when I heard about this or when I learned about it, I thought it was kind of crazy because for me, the first job that I actually got was before I started my bachelor's degree in software engineering. And that was like before day one of actually starting that course, I, I already had a job because I basically just sent out my resume to tons of different places. And I said that I'd already read the course literature for the first course, which I had done, uh, which was Java Head First, that was the book. And I basically read that a month before I actually started school. And I just sent out my resume to a lot of different places, said that I was like, really new to it i didn't know much but i had already read that book and i was super excited about it and i was going to study it for now three years and so by just doing that i actually got a job from that which seemed again super crazy because i really didn't have any experience and looking back at it i feel like i really shouldn't have gotten that job because i really wasn't qualified for it but it was a really good like learning experience and to also kind of get to test out what it was like to actually work as a software developer. So that's one of the main reasons why I think it's a really good thing to be doing because there's just so many opportunities to get these jobs because basically there's just so many places that you could work. You can just look out your window or you're like go walk down a street and every business that you see pretty much has a website of some kind which means that they need some sort of developer to actually create that website usually. Some people actually do it themselves with WordPress or things like that but in general, pretty much any business or any company that you can think of needs a programmer of some kind. So yeah, in that sense, I think that there's just so much variety in like what industry you actually wanna be working in that makes it super exciting as well because you can just 
even though you are a programmer, you can still jump between these different industries and they won't really mind because they're actually looking for a programmer. And I haven't really found anywhere else where you have that kind of freedom of choice that programming actually allows you to have which means that even though you're a programmer, you can still work in these different areas. You can do things that you're interested in at the moment, or you can work for companies that you're interested in at the moment, which means that maybe you'll find something else along the way and you're not as tied down to like, this is your specific task and you're doing it for this specific company in this specific industry and you're going to be ha having to do that for the rest of your life. And this is something that I think is hard for someone who isn't a programmer to actually understand why this would feel different because maybe you feel like this wouldn't be that much different because you're still doing the same programming but you're just doing it for a different company or a different industry and a great comparison here that i think will really help kind of explain this is that when i was a child i loved playing with legos and the reason that i really liked it was that i was able to like use these pieces to, and put them together in different ways to create something different every time. I remember watching Pirates of the Caribbean and I saw this, the black pearl that they had and there wasn't at the time like a pirate ship or anything that I could buy in Lego so I basically just had the pieces of Lego that I had at home and I basically just put together my own black pearl kind of ship and that's what I really liked about that was that you could build something that you were interested in at the time and that's the same for programming so you're basically, even though you're still doing programming, it's gonna feel a lot different if you're programming, like you're building an app for a movie theater, for instance, or you're building an app for a nature reserve to kind of send out tips to different people about the birds that they've seen that day. I don't know what that would be like, but each of those things would, be, would have so many different tasks attached to them. And the creativity part of programming means that it will feel a lot different to be doing that job versus doing a job in a different industry. So again, that job variety is a massive reason why I love being a software engineer. It just allows me that freedom to choose whatever I'm interested in and kind of go and try to find a job for an industry in that sort of area. All right, and then we have reason number five, which is job opportunity. And I think a lot of you guys know about this, but this is something that is a massive thing for me when it came to like choosing to actually go down this path. Before I started, like I said, I didn't know about the salaries. I didn't know that programmer was like a high paying job or anything, which is kind of ignorant of me to not have known that, but I didn't know it. And once I learned about that, I was like, okay, I got really excited. But then the, re the reason that actually got me over the edge to actually start to do this was the realization of the job opportunities and like realizing that there are just so many things that you can be doing with this and there's just so many jobs that are coming up constantly and again like i said before i actually got my first job before i even started school which is insane again to think that you can get a job within this industry without even having an education and this becomes really obvious when you look at like all of the emerging industries like that are coming up pretty much all of them need some sort of tech and as a side note i was actually listening to principles by ray dalio on uh, some sort of audiobook and in that book, like he's an investor and like I thought it was going to be just about investing. But a lot of that book, he actually talks about programming and how programming is such an important skill because of the fact that they were actually able to build these different decision making machines, essentially. And they were kind of early in that where they basically built out decision making machines or programs where they were making like they were looking at different data from different things and then deciding like should we buy this thing or should we sell this thing or should we hold it or whatever the decision might be and this is something that i think again a lot of people don't realize the like how much programming is actually used in the world today programming is literally everywhere it's like in the camera that i'm filming this video on in the phone that i have my notes on in like everything that you can think of pretty much has programming of some kind. If you're thinking about programming, I think the main thing that you wanna be looking for, like questioning is whether you like the idea of just like building things out. If you were one of those people like me who loved playing with Legos as a kid or like loves doing animation or drawing or any sort of like creative thing, then I really think that programming is something that will be really exciting for you. and. If you're one of those people that feel like you're more towards like you're a creative person but you haven't really thought about programming until you're watching this video but you feel like you like to paint and you wouldn't really like to sit down at a computer and just like write code I think that you should like reconsider that because 
there's so many things that are creative and it's, there's such a similarity between painting and drawing and actually programming that I think that you'll be really surprised at how much or how similar those things actually are. So uh, I think that you should take a look at it even if it may not be the one that you actually choose in the end. Anyway, that's the five reasons why I love being a software engineer. I tried doing this video without any like script and try to do it a little bit more with the thoughts that I have in my head. But I hope you enjoyed it either way and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of these unstructured outdoor videos.